I think this conference is super important because it's able to bring a lot of perspective. Being a person of color, um, it's not very often you get a place where you get to speak about your experiences. This conference helps students by giving them a resource to reach out for help. And that conference exemplifies learning first because we're putting the students learning first and it is always about the students in Davis School District. So my name is Karay Long and I'm with the Office of Equal Opportunity. So MAC stands for our Multicultural Advisory Councils. And these are different from our multicultural clubs. These are groups that meet with their school administration to discuss the needs of our diverse students. So this is Davis School District's first MAC conference. It's a two-day conference. Students can expect to participate in workshops. We also have some cultural performances and showcases from our very own students in our district. And being able to give students a voice and an opportunity to be at the table is what we are striving for. It is so cool to see so many different um, types of people from different backgrounds come together and discuss different topics in the world today. It's not very often that people get a place to speak their mind because there's always something I feel like you can take away from other people's experiences. I'm actually the student body officer for diversity and inclusion at my school, so I also think it's really crucial that we're able to provide different ideas for things that we can implement throughout the school year. A really important part of academics itself is just making sure that everyone is included and everyone has a place because we would never want it to be a situation where someone's academic performance is hindered simply because they don't feel included. What makes my group of friends so special is the diversity. We've learned how to report bullying and harassment, and we've learned how to handle another person's feelings and show empathy towards them. I think one of the benefits of our MAC conference was having the principals being side by side with their students so they can hear it straight from the source and having those administrators listen to them and hear what it is that they're experiencing and how leadership is taking this extremely seriously. We see that from Dr. Montero being here. We see that from Dr. Linford, our superintendent, being able to come down and tell these kids, hey, we hear what you're saying and we are moving forward in a positive direction. We're trying to create an environment where every single student, regardless of where they come from, who they are, can feel connected, can feel safe, and more importantly, that they can feel they belong in their space. It takes all of us to change, and everyone in this room is a leader, or at the very least, we're asking you to be a leader. We're asking you to take this mantle and lead. Change can't happen like quick, but at least like I can make a little bit of change. So I think it's super important to branch out and really just make sure that you're including people. You know, once you start doing it and get into the habit of it, it's so much more powerful than you can imagine. We as adults can talk and talk and talk, but at the end of the day, the power is in their hands and they have a huge influence within our district. And if there's one thing that I've learned through my educational background is that when a student is comfortable being in school, they show the best learning. I think at the end of the day, what we want is for students to walk away knowing that we love them, we value them, and we hear them. And the opportunities that we have to listen to them are opportunities we should take.